<laughs> I think it's a smaller one. Keeper, keeper, keeper. Yeah, buddy. Okay. I'm going to show you how to do it like this where you just go and it comes right off and when you're putting it on it doesn't um, fall out like if you would here right you know how you put it here and it keeps falling out yeah this way it won't and then when you want to pull it out you just go whoop and it comes right off nice all right so what's up guys so I got a treat for y'all me and the crew were able to go out this weekend with the legendary bottom fisherman himself the Miami mutton man so you're gonna see him go over a couple knots that he uses going out bottom fishing and one exclusive knot that he just created. Check it out. One minute when it comes up. It won't be you know, so kinked out. 40 feet down or so when it comes up, it's like perfect, straight. Because it takes all the curl out of it. Right. So the reason why I use 50 pound um, on a half pound spool is because of the curl. So it doesn't get curled. Oh. Some people show up with a quarter pound spool and then it's all like this. But this is because of the reel. But the, the quarter pound is the same thing. Is this 60, right? Yeah, 60. Okay, I've been getting them on 50. I think we should use 50. Okay. Um, we can switch to 60, but I mean, on the grouper, the grouper, if they get you in the hole, it don't matter if you got 60 or 50, you're still gonna get it. Right. Yesterday we pulled one. Actually, a big guy, I don't know if you saw him, he, fighting that grouper, that yeah. he was almost stuck. He ended up getting it stuck on the bottom. Oh. He wasn't reeling. Right, yeah. And then I said, okay, wait, don't break it off. I let him loose for a minute. I went, I told him, this is how you do it. I went like this. <laughs> got him out. <laughs> him nice. But it's all on 50. Yeah, the one I caught you two days ago bites. was on 50. You get more bites on the 50. That's what I like. You know? There's places where I'll use 80, 100. And they're still eating. And that's because of the dog snappers. Those dog snappers, um, okay, this, this knot right there, mm -hmm. I've seen that come off a lot. Okay, and a big stressful fish will come right off. Okay, so what I do, this is my new knot, watch this. New, oh, new. I invented this one, it's on my, it's on my YouTube. New knot alert. So you go through twice. Okay, and you go all the way around here. Uh huh. Push this forward, and you're gonna take two turns here and two turns here. One. Yeah. And two. I just started messing around, man, and I've caught so many fish on this, and it doesn't go. It doesn't. You'll see one when I finish it. You gonna do it on the hook too? Um, I can, but I usually use one a little quicker on the hook. So I did two here and two here. Uh huh. Study it. You'll see how hard that thing is. Nice. See how it rolls around it, uh, around itself, and look how many turns it's got. There is no way out. Wow. That's a nice one. Were you videoing it? Yep. Oh, good. <laughs> oh, that's good. So yeah, it's good. Yeah, That's why I put it on there. Like that for months. That's uh, I got one. I don't know if it's, I've never seen this one before. It's a double uni. Show me that one again. Right. I'll show you the one I used that has not failed yet. Okay, so just give me, I get a, and you, you don't have to do as many turns when you have heavier line. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna go here. There's most, uh, Knot to knot, it's gonna have a double line. Come here, make a little half. 
happy circle. One. And the same thing on the other side? Two, yeah. But we're so three, four, and then a slow. Right? And you're gonna slip them together later. Yeah. Same so thing. not too tight yet. And then this side. Yeah, that's a good one. So the um, that's the double unit, correct? Yep. Yeah. That's not what I use. It's something similar, but not exactly. So this is I have like two feet of fluorocarbon, um, sixty, Yozuri sixty. So just to give it four. And I grab both. Where is it? Oh, here. Yeah. You just make them meet each other. Yep. yep. That'll work. That'll work. A little pull on the tag ends. Yep. And then go ahead and cut it. Beautiful. Yes, sir. I'll show you the one I did. Here. I guarantee you they're on the floor. This one hasn't failed me yet. Okay. I go the line over the leader. We didn't take them inside, so they're not on the boat. Okay, all you're doing is like this. One that way, one this way. Uh huh. Now the line, you're gonna go five times this way. One, two, three, four, and five. And then you're gonna automatically start going over it five times back the other way. Okay, that's like the Royal Polaris. Huh? I do that when I do braid to uh, and I mono. Here. I do mm -hmm. braid to mono, but when I go back in here, I go right back with the braid over the mono. I go back to here with the braid. braid. On the mono, I don't do that. And that's gonna give a smaller profile, that one. So this one here has never failed me yet. Yep. Yeah. Slips a little bit. Yeah, it's never has. How long were you in front of I've had a break here and here and not on the knot. That's Where a good thing. Where you see the knot and the line broke here. You see the knot and it's gone and it just cut. Never on the knot. You never see the little. So if you're using really, you know, 60, you want a tough hook. That is a tough hook, but yeah. it's a little bit small. So what happens with this, when you have a bigger bait, the fish grabs it, it's hard for him to get hooked. Yeah, that's the, 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 this is okay for the Bali hook. Right. But you're we on use, the end of the beat. Mm -hmm. But everything else, you don't want the little hook. So as long as they still hit, you're better off with a bigger hook. Now again, you have that same knot. I used to use that knot and improved. This is how I used to use it. Like this. And I go up this way. And what you're doing, you're going through here and that's it. Right, because there's the go, line so heavy. I used to go through here and back this way. Improve and, clinch. And it was coming off. Oh, wow. What I do now. Because the fluorocarbon kind of slips. What I do time. now is I go twice. Okay. Uh -huh. And then back up the line three times. And back through. And then back through. Mm. That one doesn't slip. I'm going to change your hook to a big one. Okay. Eagle Claw Circle. So this is another way I normally put the Eagle Claw, I mean the Circle Hooks. This is my most, most used uh, knot right there. The loop knot. Boom. There it goes guys, that's that loop knot. A little bit of tag in, awesome. Just keep. I don't really need it anyway. No. Right. Right.
G U U D, good. Get in there. One shot, one kill. Woo.